Hello everybody, P.J. Anderson again. Uh, it's the evening of the 23rd, and as I mentioned this morning, we will be finishing up the book of Daniel at this time. And then starting tomorrow, instead of giving these messages twice a day, I'll be cutting back and giving them one, once a day. Now, in the final chapter of Daniel, Again, Daniel has another vision. This time he saw the Archangel Michael again, leading the host of angels. Uh, within that, he saw Jesus Christ, all dressed in white. And between Jesus Christ and Michael, they were getting ready to send Satan and the demons into Hades forever. Now, this is predicted, you can read it more and understand it more to uh, get into the book of Revelations. This is a prediction way before the book of Revelations was written, and it's this exact same message. Uh, within this, um, he was, Daniel was told that those that would be dead already and had been faithful would be risen up or raised up, and they would be washed clean and given white robes to wear. Again, this information is going to be in the book of Revelations, and it's almost word for word. We'll be able to eat of the food of life. We'll have mansions, as promised. These are things that are promised and talked about in the book of Revelations. When I first uh, read that book of Revelations, I was afraid, because I did not understand. But as I am maturing and understanding and taking in the meat of the gospel, I'm finding out that, hey, look, I'm ready. I am of that age, and I'm ready to be in my place in heaven with my bro big brother, Jesus, and my awesome father, God. And I think he, all of us can be in that position. Um, so I'm going to ask you, are you ready for forgiveness today? Have you asked Jesus Christ to be your personal Lord and Savior? If you have not, all you have to do is ask, and you will receive. This is a promise, and Jesus did forgive us, and we need to forgive our brothers and sisters. During this Christmas season is an awesome time. A lot of uh, healing can take place. Um, and we can see each other pulling close together as a family. Satan loves to tear family, families apart, but see, God likes to, us to be part of his family and fellowship with him. I thank you again for listening. And, uh, two minutes with PJ. And I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you and God bless.